What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. And today I am revisiting the Philadelphia Eagles, giving you my honest thoughts on the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, you know, before, you know, when I went over the Eagles, I didn't do my research. I didn't do my deep dives. I didn't give, you know, my full effort in trying to get to know the full Eagles team. Now that I really know this Eagles team a little more inside and out, I did a deep dive and, you know, I got my honest thoughts on the Eagles. So, you know, I went from thinking that the Eagles are a three to six win team, right? Something like that. Now I go over the now I go over the the um the roster. I do my deep dives. I go through some of the rookies. And man, oh man. This Philadelphia Eagles team definitely has the ability to get eight, nine, or ten wins. And yeah, the schedule may be really difficult. But if you ask me, you know, you look at the offensive line. You know, there's a lot of ifs, right? There's a lot of ifs, but nonetheless, they're really talented. And, and we're looking at them right now fully healthy. So that offensive line is looking pretty darn good on the left side. You have Peters, Brooks, um, Johnson. And then you have, El, no, not Elfline. I know you guys have someone, Mulata, um, um, Andre Dillard. I know you guys have a few people that, you know, or really have a solid chance of being a really good players. And, you know, man, this offense line can be a top five off offensive line when healthy. And, you know, this depth in the offense line has some experience now as well. And then, you know, you go to the running back group. This running back group is really good. You know, it's a really deep running back group. You know, they have um, starter Miles Sanders, who is a top 10 talent, maybe not a top 10 back right now, because of how many good running backs there are. But he is a top 10 caliber running back talent. We just got to see more. You know, we just got to see him be utilized a little better. And, you know, I really want to see Miles Sanders show out. Then they have Kerryon Johnson, who is an awesome downhill runner. He's decent at catching the ball, but much better at, a much better runner. Then you have Kenneth Gainwell, kind of like Naheem Hines a bit. And then you have, um, you know, Naheem Hines. He's a running back. He's a scat back. He can catch the ball in the backfield. He can run. You know, awesome player. Absolutely awesome player. And then Jordan Howard they brought back, right? Going to bring him in to compete for his spot. And then they have Boston Scott. That is a pretty darn good running back group. They have a load of options at running back. So they're not going to be short of running back this year. That, I, I can promise you that. And then you go, you know, to the tight ends. The weapons. Hurts. Jalen Hurts is a factor. If Jalen Hurts plays pretty darn well, you know, if he's solid, this Philadelphia Eagles team can be a 7-10 to 10 win team, in my opinion. Yes, I said that. I said that correctly. Um, This Philadelphia Eagles team, I was thinking, you know, they're just going to be last place in the division. You know, but now that I did a deep dive, I'm really realizing that this Philadelphia Eagles team, fully healthy, this is a really talented team. Now, the thing is, new coaching staff, right? So Hertz is gonna have, is gonna have to adjust to it. Some of the guys that were, that were already in the system are gonna have to adjust to this system a little bit. Not gonna be crazy different, but you know, there's, there's definitely gonna be some changes. There's always some changes when you're going from one guy to another at head coach. You know, and then you have John McGannon who's coming in. You have a lot of people. Oh, so, then you look at the tight ends. You know, they do have Zach Ertz, which. I think they're I think they're gonna cut ties with Zach Ertz sooner or later. I think they should have traded him by now. Um they they really need to trade him or something, I think, because their cap room is starting to get really, really tight. And they do have Dallas Scott or Richard Rodgers, some guys that I really like in that tight end group. I, like I think that's a really good one two punch. But Nick Sirianni coming over from Frank Reich, who was from Doug Peterson, you know, they really love their three tight end systems. They really love using their tight ends. So having three tight ends may be in his plans, but you know, and then you go to the wide receivers, right? You have Devontae Smith. I absolutely love Devontae Smith. He is an awesome, he is an awesome route runner, great hands. He has an awesome presence. And then you go to Jalen Rager, who is a speedster. I really want to see him show out. I think he needs to step up a little bit, but he did have some injury concerns last year. But I'm excited to see him come in and step up. You know, and then you have Travis Fogel. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in this room that just they have all the potential in the world, but can they fulfill some of it, or could they fulfill, 
you know, just enough to really get by or just to be a really good group. I think they could. I really like Travis Fulgham last year at times. I really like Devontae Smith coming in. I really like the speedster in Jalen Rager. I just think he needs to prove himself a little bit more, stay healthy. Um, and then you have Greg Ward, who I like him. I think he's a, he, he is an underrated option. John Hightower, J.J. Arcega Whiteside, Michael Walker, Adrian Killens, Quez Watkins. They have a lot of people. It's just a matter of fact of them staying healthy and showing some potential. You know, if they don't show much, then this then this wide receiver group isn't going to be much. But I think this wide receiver group is going to be big, and I think it's going to be a big reason why Jalen Hurts has a pretty good year. Um, now, my quarterback rings, I did rank Jalen Hurts last, but I think he could be better. But that's what I have him as right now before the season. I have him ring number 32 as a starter out of all the starters. So then we go to the defensive side of things. You know, you go to their defensive line. It's one of the nastiest defense lines in the league. Um, there's a lot of really good vets mixed with some young talent. And even the rotation is nasty, including the rotation. It's a top five defensive front. That's for sure. You know, Derek Barnett, love him. Javon Hargrave, he's awesome. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Ryan Kerrigan, Hassan Ridgeway, T.Y. T. McGill, Josh Sweat, Matt Leo, Milton Williams, Teron Jackson. Man, I really like this group. You know, that's a really, really good rotation and starter group. So this defense line would be enough to win some games alone. And then you go to the linebackers. This is where things go downhill a little bit. You know, Alex Singleton, Eric Wilson, Sean Bradley, Jannard Avery, TJ Edwards. You know, they definitely have some guys uh, who have some upside, but this is definitely their weak point in their team. It's either this or QB, depending on how Jalen Hurts plays out. But I think linebacker is one of the biggest weak points on this team. Then you go to the corners, right? The corners are pretty darn good as well. Um, you have big play Slay as number one, of course. And you have Rodney McLeod is actually safety. And you have free safety and Anthony Harris. I really like that safety group. I really like Marcus Epps as a backup. I think he's a really good rotation guy. Andrew Adams is decent. Um, Steven Nelson, the signing of Steven Nelson was an, was an amazing, amazing signing. Vontae Maddox, I think I think could be a really solid slot corner. Kevon Wallace, Josiah Scott, um, Sean Bradley, Jannard Avery. Man, I'm telling no, that's sub linebacker. That's my fault. <laughs> my, 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 my bad. I just listed some of the some of the sub linebackers, but um, yeah, man. As I did more of a deep dive, and as I looked into this team more, rather than you know just looking at them or just going off of what I thought, you know, I looked at this team, and this team is a really good team, and I think the Eagles are gonna be pretty darn good this year. You know, the Eagles are pretty darn good. I'm telling you, the Eagles are good. Eagles are good. So I'm really excited to see what the Eagles are going to do. Um, you know, like I said, they're going to be good if – I know I just said they're going to be good multiple times, but put the big emphasis on if Jalen Hurts. If Jalen Hurts is a decent quarterback, I think he'll be maybe 25th to the 20th best quarterback, maybe maybe middle of the pack. Um, I think Hurts could be a really good player. He just got. He has to show some some consistency, and that, and his ability to improve and evolve his game. Because last year, he had some playing time, which means there's going to be more tape out on him. So so other teams can watch tape and figure out his weaknesses, his strengths, and that's what the teams are going to be able to exploit now because they have some tape on him. So that's one thing as well. So let me know your guys' thoughts on the Philadelphia Eagles. What do you think their record is going to be? I really like this Eagles team. As I've been talking to a lot more Eagles people, a lot more Eagles fans, podcasters, JC Eagles Talk, Big Play Slay, Philly Philly, Coach Dante. I'm telling you, man, this Eagles team is a lot better than you than you may think if you're not an Eagles fan. Don't just look at the Eagles and think, oh, their fan base is annoying, so their team sucks. It's not fair. 
you, if you do a dive on this team, if you look at this team, this team has some big talent. Just a matter of fact of them staying healthy and them staying somewhat consistent. I'm telling you, watch out for the Eagles. And, and then, of course, Jake Elliott is an awesome kicker. I, I really like I really like Jake Elliott. Um, Austin Scott is a kick returner. Greg Ward is a punt returner. Telling you, man, watch out for the Eagles. They're they're a sneaky team. So let me know what y'all think. And yeah, this is it for today's episode. I thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and a sub. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time on the JDW Sports Talk Show.